Halloween just eight days away now it's a week from tomorrow and even if you're not going to any parties or expecting trick or treaters local candy shops could sure use your help. That's right. Some owners tell KVU's Mike Marut they're in survival mode. This time of year can make adults feel like kids in a candy store. These Japanese like gummy hamburgers, never seen any of that stuff before. Candy stores may not carry the bulk trick or treat sweets, but still see Halloween as the beginning of a sales boom. At this time last year, the shop really would have been at, at capacity. Halloween candy and other nostalgic favorites flying off the shelves. Big Top Candy Shop on South Congress relies on big events and big tourism to carry them through the spring and summer. Because of the pandemic, neither of those happened. Owner Brandon Hodge says the shop finally turned a corner last weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. It represented really from last month a, a really big uptick in sales and uh, and was a kind of a cause for high five, but also with a little bit of caution and wariness because we're still about 50% down from last year at this time. Big Top's not the only one. In Hutto, the candy corner turned its corner a couple of months ago, but it's not where it needs to be. I'm expecting it to be down. I don't know how much, but yeah, down somewhat, at least I would say 25%, Wow, maybe. More. Candy Corner relies on festivals and foot traffic, which Hutto only recently started up again. <laughs> These next few months could make or break a lot of small businesses. And there's a reason Black Friday is called Black Friday. You know, a lot of retailers take a loss through most of the year, and that's their data. So, you know, put their books in the black, so to speak. As the holidays approach, shop owners hope customers start to return soon. In Austin, I'm Mike Marut.